Hi, in this video, we are going to learn how to make a secure FTP connection to an AWS EC2 Linux instance. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol, and as the name suggests, it is a method of transferring files between a client and a server over a network. Using an FTP client makes the process much easier. You will be able to simply drag and drop files to upload or download them. In this video, I will assume that you already know how to set up an EC2 instance on AWS and how to connect to it using SSH with a PEM file. But if you need to learn more about that, you can watch this video. You should see the link now, but if you don't, it is also in the description below. All right, so let's get started. I've logged into AWS and here in the console, I will choose EC2. And then I will click on running instances I currently have a running instance here, which I will use for this demonstration. I will assume that you also have one that you can use to follow along. I have a key pair for this instance, and this is the name. I have it saved as a PEM file here on my computer. Make sure that you also have access to your PEM file for your instance. And then please take note of your instance's public IP address as you will need that to connect to your instance. So let's go ahead and copy that. Now, the program that I will be using to transfer files using FTP is this open source program called FileZilla. Let's visit the website at filezilla-project.org and then click on the download FileZilla client button and then choose the download that is compatible with your system. So you can pause the video at this point and then come back once you've downloaded and installed the program. Okay, so here is the FileZilla program. You'll see that we have two columns here in the middle. The left column is our local machine. We can navigate our file system here in the top section, and then right below it is where we can navigate the selected directory. So I have desktop currently selected here at the top. So down here, we see the files and folders inside the desktop. You can right click on an empty area and choose refresh to make sure that it is showing you the updated contents of the directory. This folder here that has the two dots allows us to exit the current directory and then go up to its parent directory. And then here on the right, this is where we will be able to navigate the server's file system once we've established an FTP connection. And then we'll be able to easily transfer files between our local machine and the server. So to set up a connection, let's open up the site manager by clicking on this button in the upper left corner. Here you'll see a list of the sites you've saved if you have any. Click on new site to add a new server to connect. Let's give it a name. I will say Linux web server. And then for protocol, let's choose SFTP. So this is the more secure version of FTP. It uses SSH to establish a secure connection. And then for the host, input your EC2 instances public IP address. And then for the logon type, choose key file, and then click on browse. And then select the PEM file that contains the private key to your EC2 instance. And then for the user, type ec2-user. And then click on the connect button. And then click OK to let the program know that we trust the server that we are connecting to. Wait for the connection to be established. And then once it's done, you'll see the server's file system here in the right column. So here it is. This is my EC2 instances file system. I can navigate the folders here. And then down here, I'll be able to see the files and folders inside whatever directory is selected up here. If you're moving around these folders, you might have to wait a while for the contents to refresh. It depends on your network connection. So I've selected the home folder, and then down here I have the option to download files, create new directories, rename files, and all that. For example, I can right-click here and choose Create Directory. I can also choose a folder or a file, right-click on it, and choose Download, and then it gets downloaded to the currently selected folder here in the local machine. If I wanted to upload a file or a folder from my local machine, then I can right click on it and choose upload. And then it gets uploaded to the currently selected directory here in the server. I also have the option to just click and drag files and folders in between the server and my local machine. You can monitor the progress of your file transfers down here. 
you can monitor the status of your connection up here. And if you want to disconnect from the server, you can click on the disconnect button right here. And then if you want to connect again, then you can just open up the site manager again, choose the server that you want to connect to, and then click on the connect button. Also, just a reminder, if you restart your EC2 instance, then you may get a new public IP address. So you have to make sure that you edit the host to reflect that new IP address. And that's it. We've just connected to an EC2 Linux instance using a secure FTP connection. If you found the video useful, please give it a like and feel free to share it with others who might find it useful as well. Thanks for watching.